Hi, welcome to this episode of the Colfax RPA Deep Dive Series. I'm Jesper Scherpenhuizen and in this episode I want to dive into Colfax RPA robots that are leveraging the, the Microsoft Azure Tasks Analytics platform. And again, just like we did with the Google platform and with the IBM platform, uh, the example use case here is going to be entity extraction. Uh, main reason why I decided to use that is that it's, fairly, it's a fairly common capability across all of these NLP platforms. Um, so just like I did for Google and IBM, I'm going to do the same thing here is I'm going to dive into the prerequisites. How can you set up an account with Microsoft Azure uh, in order for you to leverage text analytics? And then I'm going to show you how to build the most simple robot within Colfax RPA that can then leverage uh, those capabilities and then again I'm going to use my uh, judicial example uh, to showcase how that could then fit an end-to-end -end process in a more real-world scenario. Um, as always if you've got any questions uh, feel free to reach out to me afterwards, drop me a line, uh, reach out to me through the known channels. Um, okay without further ado what do you need to build a Colfax RPA robot that's leveraging Microsoft Azure Text Analytics? Well, the first thing is you're going to need Colfax RPA. And if you don't already have an installation uh, handy or if you uh, don't have access to it right now, uh, feel free to go to the colfax.com website and click the uh, link to start your free trial. OK, well, that's going to need a quick refresh. The only thing you need to do is leave some details here in this form and within a couple of minutes you'll get an email with your uh, with your personal license that's going to be valid for 12 months uh, and a link to where you can download the installation media. And I can't stress this enough. This is not a limited uh, feature release. This is the this is the real deal. You'll get all of the features that all of our enterprise customers get as well. So you'll you'll have the management console, you'll have design studio access, and you'll have your uh, dedicated robo servers available to you as well. So there are no hidden features. Uh, you will not be limited in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Do that, install it, configure it, license it, play around with it. Um, after that, what you'll need to do is you'll need to get your hands on uh, your text analytics API key. Well, what you could do is go to azure.microsoft.com and then, well, you can Bing for text analytics or you can use Google, whatever your <laughs> search engine of choice would be. And you just can follow the, the, the wizard here. Just click try text analytics. It's going to give you all the things that you uh, that you can choose here. Simple as this, get your API key, and that's going to prompt you then, okay, do you want to use it as a guest? Do you want to have a free Azure account? And if you already have an Azure account, just go here. What you'll then need to do is you'll need to create your text analytics service within uh, the Azure portal. And once you've got that, again, just like we did with Watson, Make sure that you uh, take good note of which endpoint you need to use. You can just copy it from there. And the same thing is true for your for your keys. And as always, and I can't stress this enough, don't share your API keys with anyone else. And if you do that, because you're recording a YouTube video and you're going to put that online, uh, just refresh them afterwards. It's fairly easy from here. You can just regenerate the keys. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm still using that for the uh, for the rest of the demo. But just keep that in mind. Okay, let me just quickly switch to my Kapow environment. And this is fairly straightforward. It's fairly comparable to how we did it with the with the Google platform. So it's essentially a REST call. So again, you're going to use the URL that you got from your uh, from the Azure portal. It's it's a simple post. And here we have the the payload. I'm, I've just hard coded it here. Fairly straightforward. This is a JSON payload. Right now, I've just put this static text in, and in the other example, I'll show you how to can how you can then use a a JSON template file and update that. The API key gets passed in as a um, uh, as a header. So this is the one. So it's OCP APM subscription key, and then you just paste paste it in there. 
I would always recommend to do that as a variable here. But just for a quick and dirty proof of concept robot just showing, can we do this? Yes, we can do this. This is fine. And then again, you're going to get a JSON uh, payload in return. And the nice thing about the, uh, the Microsoft Azure platform is it is actually expecting not just one text, it's actually expecting multiple texts. So in this case, I've passed in two, uh, two strings containing text and it's analyzed both of them and it's going to return both of them. So what you can then do is if you run that, you could just loop over all these documents, loop over all these entities. Uh, in this case, I'm just extracting the type and the uh, the text. So it's Jeff, it's a person, the quantity is three, uh, three dozen. There you go. I really like that three dozen, that it's actually picking up that that's a, that that's a quantity. That's really nice. Um, Microsoft Azure Text Analytics has a lot more in store than just entity extraction, uh, but the same principles apply. So you can just do a REST call from your from your your uh, Cofax RPA robot, um, and you can leverage all of them. So play around with that and see what you can get. So for the well, let's call it the more real world scenario. I'm just going to switch back to my slides real quickly, and I'm just going to reiterate this again. Almost all business process automation challenges are built up of these four building blocks. It's always uh, something that you need to acquire, something you need to process and analyze, and then the output of that you need to deliver somewhere. So in this example, uh, we're going to use the Cofax RPA robot to acquire documents. We're going to use Cofax RPA, the cognitive data, uh, document uh, automation part of that to process those documents and extract data from that. And that data that we've extracted from those documents, we're going to leverage the uh, the Microsoft Azure Tax Analytics platform to actually analyze them. And the entities that we've extracted from them, we can then deliver further downstream. So in this scenario, and I've used the same scenario for, uh, for the Google and the IBM platform, so I'm just going to do this fairly quickly. It's we've got a, uh, a judicial website here with, uh, with, with legal documents that we want to have analyzed. It can be one, it can be a hundred, but we just want our robot to go through these and analyze them and deliver that further downstream. So these documents can be uh, machine readable, they can be scans, they can be anything else there as well. So this is a nice example of something that's been scanned, it's been redacted, so we'll really need the machine learning capabilities of our cognitive document automation uh, capabilities within Colfax RPA to really get the real data from here. This is a more uh, digital document. It's going to be fairly easy to, uh, to, to process. Here we've got a nice letter from one of the uh, Supreme Court justices uh, to, uh, to Stanford University. Here we've got a letter from uh, from New Scotland Yard. Uh, again, this is a scan. You can still see the puncture holes there. Really nice from 1992. And here we've got another one. It really looks digital, but it's it's a scan there as well. So there's no text layer to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop through that page, grab the document titles. We're going to extract the data utilizing Cofax CDA which is part of Colfax RPA. And we're then going to extract the text from there, call the web service, the Microsoft Azure web service, just like we did uh, previously. So we we'll just do the same thing here. But in this case, the payload is the, um, the document that we've, pre the, 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 um, the data set that we've prepared here. So we're actually loading a JSON template and we're inserting the data from the documents in there. So we're calling the web service, extracting the output, looping through all the entities. And again, just like we did before, we're just writing the, the entities to a text file. I, uh, I haven't included a, a backend system where we need to um, uh, distribute these data points to. If you want to learn more about how to integrate with other platforms like an ERP system or, or a justice system or anything else, uh, have a look at the other YouTube videos out there. 
if you want to learn how you can then leverage uh, natural language generation uh, and, and stakeholder communication systems, have a look at my Colfax CCM videos on the same channel. And if you've got any questions about that, drop me a line, right? So without further ado, let's quickly run this in debug mode and let's open up the output. So what you'll see is that we, here we have that, that flat text file. So it's right now it's analyzing the accident at Walmart's document. So that's the first one. So it's working on that. And you can see that it's uh, extracting the data points from the from the document right now. So it's using that machine learning enabled platform, um, the, the, the DTS uh, component, so the document transformation server. Oh, it's now working on the second one. So if you open up the text file, here we go. It's extracted these entities, the law firm, the attorney, the bachelor of law, the location, all of these have been extracted. It's on the uh, on the third document, which is analyzed. Let's see what else we've got in store. The grievance complaint has been analyzed. The make a difference, that's that letter from the Supreme Court Justice. That's been analyzed there as well. Really nice. It's working on the fourth document, the fifth document. Yes, reload it. Here we go. The Scotland Yard response. And it's now working on that last and final document. Give that a couple of seconds. That's the biggest, that, that's the most challenging one. In my next video, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to combine all of these NLP engines into one big uh, robot. And I'm going to show you what all the different um, outputs are for all of these. People have been asking me for that, so why not do it? And this is the last one. So we saw that same robot that we uh, that we saw before, but this time it's leveraging the um, the Azure platform. So again, just to recap, what I've shown you in this video is how to well how to get your hands on Colfax RPA, how to register for the Microsoft Azure Tax Analytics platform, how to then build a small proof of concept robot, actually just doing well doing a simple call to the to that platform and i've shown you how you can leverage this in a broader platform as well again if you've got any questions drop me a line leave a comment down below uh, if you like this video like it if you disliked it you know what to do and as always thank you so much for your time have a great one cheers